Now, one of the things I noticed from all the scriptures I got about this service is there seems to be an emphasis on the blessings and our praising. Our, us having um, an attitude of gratitude, praising God, blessing his holy name, being thankful for all he's doing, even when we don't understand it, praising him in difficult situations. The Bible says be instant in season and out of season. And we should do that when we praise God. We praise God when we're sick because we believe and know that he is going to bless our bodies. He is going to send help, some type of help. We bless him when people die. We praise his holy name, not because we're happy to see him go. No, it's because we know that God knows what he's doing. God knows that that person is secretly asking him, please take me home. God knows that that person is saying, God, I'm so tired. No more, please. See, when God gives us a way of escape, he knows what he is doing. Do you hear me? He knows what he's doing. So we have to know no matter what goes on, good, bad, or indifferent, God is the one in control. He's pulling the strings. He knows what's happening. He's preparing the way ahead of us. He's going ahead of us, making the crooked places straight and the rough places smooth. The Bible calls it plain. It means smooth. Smoothing out the rough edges. That's another way of saying it. Okay. Now, here's the trip, though. This is what I love about God. God operates in praise. Now, I want to share a little a quick story with you. Years ago, what God did... <coughs> sorry. What God did was he... Um, when I was, my ex-husband and I were trying to get a job that we were not qualified for. We didn't have the master's degree that was required for the job, but he wanted the job more than I did. So, you know, since we had to do a live-in and we were off only on the weekend, we had to, it was a 24 hours, a five day a week job. So it had to be living. We were like group home parents, that type of thing, for developmentally disabled adults. Well, we sat in the car after we read the requirements to, to even apply for the job. He wanted it so bad, he said, well, let's praise God. Now, we praised the Lord. We sat in the car. It was very mechanical. We didn't feel it at first, but it's something crazy about when you start praising God mechanically, something in your spirit starts to kick in and you start to feel God inhabiting the praises of his people. And we were glory to God. Hallelujah. We praise you, Lord. We magnify you. I mean, we went up and down with the praises. We even sang songs to him. When we got in the office at the appointed time, we sat there and we had our interview. When we had our interview, we were hired on the spot. We were hired on the spot. Do you hear me? Now, of course we didn't get paid what a master's degree would get paid, but we got a job. And the purpose, the plan was rent the house. <clears throat> Excuse me. Rent the house out and let that income accumulate while we live on the income at the job and let some of that accumulate too. Anyway, it kind of halfway worked out. But the bottom line is it was the praises. Praising God opened the door for us to get a job we were not qualified to get. 